In this video, we're going to cover an overview of intellectual property and talk about the different types of intellectual property. We're also going to talk about this KitKat bar, but we'll get to that in a second. So while people talk about intellectual property or even ownership of an idea, what we really care about from a legal standpoint is the specific categories of intellectual property. And I like to talk about these in terms of five different buckets of intellectual property rights. The first is patents. Patents are an extremely strong form of government-granted intellectual property protection that typically covers technology or inventions like the phone or a new type of computer or a new composition of matter. The second bucket of intellectual property rights is copyright. Copyright covers original expression, such as a story, a movie, a character like Mickey Mouse, or source code behind software. The third bucket of intellectual property rights is trademark rights. Trademark rights cover words, symbols, or phrases that tell a consumer the particular source of a good or service. The fourth bucket of intellectual property rights is trade secret rights. These are commercially valuable secrets that cover aspects of a company's technology or business. For example, customer lists, customer profiles, formulas, like the recipe behind Coca-Cola. And the fifth category of intellectual property rights is contracts. This is a form of intellectual property protection because you can contractually impose restrictions on another party in terms of what they can do with your technology. An example is the terms of use you agree to when you go to someone's website. Now let's come back to our KitKat bar. These different forms of intellectual property can all be used to cover aspects of the same product. And it's important to distinguish between these different forms of intellectual property because the law differs for each form. Different aspects, different intellectual property categories can cover different aspects of the same product. And different people can initially hold the rights in these different categories of intellectual property. So let's look at our KitKat buyer. Patents could cover the method of making this KitKat bar. Patents could cover a new composition of matter that's formed by the ingredients in this KitKat bar. Copyright could cover the phrases that are used in the advertising, the commercials behind this KitKat bar, the content and the expression of the website. There's certainly trademark rights in the name KitKat, in the name Nestle, who makes this KitKat bar in some of the slogans that are used in advertising. There's probably even some form of trademark protection in the combination of colors that are used and the fonts used to package this KitKat bar. Trade secret protection could cover uh, the distribution channels for this KitKat bar, the specific ingredients and in the recipe behind this KitKat bar, the advertising and the business strategy of Nestle in promoting and selling this product. And lastly, contracts can be used by the manufacturer to impose other restrictions on what people can use with this KitKat bar. If they contract with a distribution partner, there's probably restrictions in that contract as to what that distribution partner can or can't do with some of the products or services of Nestle. There's also terms of service on the KitKat website telling you what you can or can't do with the information you learn on that website. So again, while we talk generally about intellectual property, it's important to distinguish what category of intellectual property you're talking about. Patents, copyrights, trademarks, trade secrets, or contract rights.